We're set for IndyCar Oval Racing for the third time at Texas this season, but this time there's a whole lot more on the line. Alexander Rossi needs to outscore Ed Carpenter by three points, and they'll be battling head-to-head -head tonight for the championship. It's the DXC Technology 600 and the title decider here from Texas Motor Speedway. The sun is setting and the temperature is only 77 degrees. Track temps are triple digits. 107 is what we read before the race here in Texas Motor Speedway. It's going to be very difficult, very slick for these drivers tonight. And that is just what it takes to win a championship. Before the cars start rolling, let's take a look at your championship contenders this evening. Ed Carpenter and Alexander Rossi. And what a season it has been. As we close it out today, we look back at what happened throughout the season, the different winners we had, the different things that have happened to our drivers that seemed dominant, that were not there at the beginning of the season, now are. We see Ed Carpenter, who won the Gallagher Grand Prix a few months ago. He wasn't there at the beginning of the season. He is here now fighting for a championship, and he's well within the lead now. He's about eight points over the cutoff. He is the leader in the championship, and he's qualified fifth today. Alexander Rossi starts in front of him, but he does have that win, and he does have the 38 points that lead him in the championship. As for Alexander Rossi, he trails by eight points, has a win. He won the Indianapolis 500 back in June. He qualified third tonight. No DNFs for him or his title rival, Ed Carpenter, coming into this race. Let's go to your starting lineups. Takuma Sato starts on pole. He'll be wrecked out of the XPEL 375. Connor Daly, who won the season over here, he starts in second. Alexander Rossi starts in row number two alongside Joseph Newgarden. That's Ed Carpenter and Helio Castroneves in row number three. Fernando Alonso starts in seventh with Jimmy Johnson in eighth. And it's Tony Kanan and Kurt Busch, the two Hondas in row number five. And in the rear, it's Robert Wickens and Felix Rosenquist. Ready to go, championship racing, the DXC Technology 600 from Texas Motor Speedway. Ed Carpenter, Alexander Rossi will be fighting for the title tonight, but the great flag's in the air. Connor Daly's already to the lead as we head down into turn number one. Look at this, it's Rossi down the inside for second. He gets it from Newgarden. Rossi's up to P2. Here he comes now for the lead. Rossi takes the point as they head into one. Alexander Rossi takes the lead of the race here on lap number two. One thing you're going to want to look at all night long is that points as they run. The live points, Alexander Rossi still trails by five to Ed Carpenter, even though he has the lead. It's all up to Carpenter if he wants to win this championship or not. Here comes Haley Castroneves to the inside of the pull center. Takuma Sato, who's already fallen back to eighth place. Look at Ed Carpenter right now in P4, still in the championship lead by five points. Alexander Rossi has the lead. He has the maximum points of 10, but he has to wait on Ed Carpenter to fall back if he wants to win the championship. Here comes Connor Daly, though, to the inside on the back straight. Connor Daly to the lead of the race. Good job. Way to go. Way to go. You're clear. So now Rossi falls back to second. Now he gets a little nudge from Joseph Newgarden. He takes a shot. There goes Ed Carpenter the, to the inside of Alexander Rossi. Good job there, guys. He did take a good shot there. Rossi falls back to fourth. Now nine behind Ed Carpenter. Carpenter up to P3. And his teammate, Connor Daly, has the lead right now. Jimmy Johnson was the points leader just a few months ago. And then it all went south after his DNF of the Gallagher Grand Prix. He's now in ninth place. It's now the green flag pit stops are underway. The leaders come down pit lane. That includes Connor Daly, Joseph Newgarden, and title contender Ed Carpenter, Alexander Rossi, and a strategy gamble has stayed out. Now look at this. As Rossi comes down pit lane, keep your eye on the live points as they run. We'll see if the strategy works out. Ed Carpenter out of pit lane. Connor Daly has the lead. Look at the points. Let's see when they update. And it's Ed Carpenter who takes the lead by 13. Now 14. As Ed Carpenter has taken the lead of the DXC Technology 600. And now the 27 team has nothing they can do. They can get up to where Ed Carpenter is, but it will not help if Ed Carpenter does not fall back a handful of positions. And right now, Ed Carpenter Racing is on its way to the first double podium and one two finish in the team's history. Ed Carpenter leads Connor Daly, Tony Kanan, and Ed Carpenter slapped Alexander Rossi. Rossi is a lap down. That just sealed the championship completely. The sun's starting to set on the hoops for a championship for that 2017. The sun starts to set here in Texas. The sun sets on the season. One final lap around here in Texas for Ed Carpenter. What a day it's going to be for him. He's done it, out of four. Ed Carpenter is an IndyCar champion. Way to go, boys. Way to go. Awesome weekend, let's go. What a race. 
It's his second win of the year, and look at this moment. Between the two drivers, Alexander Rossi now coming down pit lane. Ed Carpenter is going to do his burnouts here. He's the 2022 AJ Racing IndyCar Series champion. And what an evening it was for this guy, Ed Carpenter. Parking it in victory lane. And he is the 2022 AJ Racing IndyCar Series champion. His teammate, Connor Daly, was so much help for him tonight. He finishes P2 at a track he won at earlier this year. The season opener, Genesis 300. As for Jimmy Johnson, he was the points leader a few months ago. And it looks like he might finish outside of the top three in the points this year. And what... A strategy call it was for the 27 team, and it just didn't work out. Alexander Rossi, 13, 14 points behind the cutoff. And we look at your unofficial results here in the DXC Technology 600. It was all but five drivers who were lapped this race. Ed Carpenter, the winner. Connor Daly, that is Tony Kanan in third. Justin Newgarden won the last time out here in Texas. Finishes in fourth with Alonzo in fifth. Rossi, Johnson, Kurt Busch, Takuma Sato, and Taylor Kashin. was a lap down, rounding out the top ten. Robert Wickens, one lap down. Felix Rosenquist finishes in the last two laps down. And as we close out this 2022 IndyCar Series season, Really felt like it flew by. We'll look at your final point standings this year. Ed Carpenter wins the championship. Alexander Rossi finishes 13 behind in the points. Connor Daly 16. Fernando Alonso tied with him. Connor Daly getting the tiebreaker. He finished in a higher position. Jimmy Johnson 19 points behind, then five behind. Six behind him is Joseph Newgarden. Takuma Sato tied with him. And then we go all the way down to Kurt Busch in 11. Halu Kestrinevis finishes 38 behind in 12. We'll be sure to have a 20-car field for next season here in the IndyCar Series. So we're looking forward to that new track, such as in Hartford, that we didn't get to this year. We'll be getting there next year. Maybe some new tracks, new updated tracks as well. And as we round out the season, we still have one more race on AJ Racing before we close out 2022 completely. It's the season finale, Brickyard 400. It's the NASCAR Cup Series Championship race from Indianapolis Motor Speedway, December 22nd at 4 p.m. We hope you join us for that. That'll do it for our IndyCar season here in AJ Racing. We thank you for being with us. We really enjoyed making it, and we thank you for your support throughout the season. We hope you'll be here for next year with some more races and some more new drivers. Ed Carpenter has won the 2022 AJ Racing IndyCar Series Championship. For everyone here on AJ Racing, I'm AJ, signing off from Texas Motor Speedway. AJ Racing thanks you for watching this presentation of the NTT IndyCar Series. We thank your friends for their support and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast.